Hi little skeletons, it's Disney Queen Skelly here. Welcome back to the Disney Quiz Marathon. So these quizzes are kicking off with how well do you remember the last episode of The Golden Girls? Now remember, keep in mind, I've never seen The Golden Girls. Who does Dorothy go out on a date with? Matthew, Lucas, Larry, or Luke? Let's go Lucas. Where did Dorothy and her date go to eat? A crab restaurant, a steakhouse, a buffet, a dine. Steakhouse? Who is Dorothy's date related to? Rose, Blanche, Sophia, or Miles? Rose? What is the joke Dorothy and her date plan? Pretend to run away together, pretend to fight, pretend to be buying a house, pretend to be married. Run away together? What does Sophia call Dorothy? Baby, pussycat, doll face, or buttercup? Doll face? What does Sophia keep doing during the first part of the final episode? Cooking, taking photos, changing her clothes, baking. Baking? Who picks Dorothy up for her wedding? Her daughter, Sophia, she drives herself, Stan. Sophia? Where does Dorothy move to? Atlanta, Los Angeles, New York, or Orlando? Let's go Atlanta. Where does Sophia move to? She moves in with Dorothy, she moves in with her other children, she stays with Blanche and Rose, she goes back to Shady Pines. I'll say she moves in with her kids. After Dorothy leaves the house, how many times does she come back inside? Once? You got 2 out of 10 correct. It looks like it's time for you to rewatch the last episode of The Golden Girls. Grab some cheesecake and enjoy then and enjoy, then take this quiz again. I'm good, let's move on to the next one. So this quiz is, can you remember where these monsters ink doors lead? How many questions are there gonna be? What kind of house is on the other side of this door? Haunted house, a beach house, a cabin, or a castle? Beach house. Which country does this door lead to? Japan, Mexico, China, or France? I think it's Japan? Who is on the other side of this door? Sully, Mike and Sully, Randall, or Boo and Randall? Let's go with Boo and Randall. Who lives behind this store? Henry J. Waternoose, Mike Wazowski, an abominable snowman, a scare simulator. The abominable snowman. Who is on the other side of this store? A scare simulation, Roz and the CDA, Boo's room, Randall and Boo. Is that Boo's door? Nope. Who comes out of this door? Mike and Boo, Mike and Sully, Randall and Boo, or Randall? I think it's Mike and Sully? What kind of house does this door lead to? It's a trailer! What monument do Sully and Mike see through this door? The Eiffel Tower? What kind of sound is coming from the other side of the door? Yodeling! What's on the other side? That's Boo's room. You got 9 out of 10 correct! You almost put that door back where it came from. Or so help me, so help me! Let's move on to the next quiz. So this quiz is, which inspirational Disney song should be your personal anthem? What's the first thing you do when you wake up? I check my phone. What's a personal goal of yours? To make my own path, to make and keep a lifelong friendships, to prove naysayers wrong, to explore the world. Just to prove people wrong, really. What word would your friends use to describe you? Down to earth, motivated, curious, or thoughtful? I'd say curious. How do you like to work out? Yoga, weightlifting, running, or cross-training? Running. You define a successful life in terms of love given and received, goals attained, challenges overcome, amount of personal growth. I'd say amount of personal growth. If you bought a motivational poster, what feeling would it showcase? Wild thing, dream big, challenge accepted, walk the talk. I'd say challenge accepted. What's a pet peeve of yours? Slow walkers, taking, talking with mouthful, people who are always late, people who cut in line. I hate both slow walkers and people who are always late, but I think the one I... Well, boy, I can't tolerate either of these. I'll say late, because that's a personal thing of mine, too. Pick your favorite polarizing food. Cilantro, licorice, mayonnaise, or coconut? What kind of favorite food are any of these? Coconut? You got I'll Make a Man Out of You from Mulan. Get down to business and stay motivated. There's no better song to help you feel inspired even when you're feeling a little bit dishonorable. <laughs> Let's move on to the next quiz. Fun fact though, this is one of my mom's uh, favorite Disney songs. Which Disney character are you based on your favorite Halloween candy? Okay. Alright, so we got some choices here. Licorice, chocolate bar, peppermint patty, chocolate caramel, sour candy, bubblegum, candy corn, gummies, or no favorite candy. Fun fact, I despise candy corn, so I'll go with sour candy. I'm disgusted, that makes sense. Every annoying little thing tends to leave a bad taste in your mouth, but you're strong, outspoken, and proud of it. Hell yeah I am, let's move on to the next quiz. So this quiz is, can you name the Disney princesses in order? Who is the first Disney princess? Snow White, Cinderella, Aurora, then I think it went to 
Belle? No, there was somebody in between. We got Snow White, Cinderella, Aurora. Then we had, who did we have? Did we have Ariel? Yes. Then we had, who was the last one I just chose? <laughs> then we had Ariel. Wow, we went like 30 years without a Disney movie. That's in, like without a princess movie. That's nuts. Okay, so after Ariel came Pocahontas? No. Belle. Yes. Then Pocahontas, if I can spell. No. Who came after Belle? Oh, Jasmine. I'm gonna get this right, guys, I swear. So after Pocahontas came... Is that Rapunzel? Merida? Okay, who was after Pocahontas? Come on, you gotta know your princesses by now, Mandy. So we got Snow White, Cinderella, Aurora, Belle... Moana? No. Mulan? She's not even technically a princess, though. Okay, after Mulan came... Who came after Mulan in the 90s? Was that Rapunzel? Merida? Oh, no, wait. Tiana. Okay, so after Tiana, Merida? Rapunzel. I'm just gonna keep recycling answers here. 11 out of 11 after like 1200 guesses. You're a Disney princess lineage expert. Make sure to tell all of your friends about your royal victory. And more like they allow you to give second chances. Let's move on to the next quiz. So this quiz is, can you name these obscure Disney television characters? Probably not. Oh great, we're already typing. And Chippendale Rescue Rangers, never seen it. Zipper. That's, oh shoot. Shoot, shoot, shoot. I do remember you from the Proud family. You're not La Cienega. Who are- oh my goodness, no. And I just binge watched that show like a while ago. Dijanae. How am I supposed to remember Kim Possible's friend's name? It's been forever since I've seen these shows. Monique. Who is this happy line from Tailspins? Never seen Tailspins. Or Tailspin. That's Norm. At least I can get that one. You are a preppy bitch. You are Pacifica. I've never seen Darkwing Duck. Honker Muddlefoot, good for you. You are Principal Prickly. Oh, okay, how do you spell Principal Prickly? Prin Principal Prickly. How do you spell it? Is it without the E? It's probably without the E. Prince. Prin. Simple prickly. There we go. Never seen the gummy bears. Cubby gummy. Good for you. I've never seen DuckTales. Well, I've seen DuckTales, but I don't like DuckTales. Mrs. Beakley. Who is this cutie from Goof Troop? I. Savrock Sand. They just did her different? No. Who's from Goof Troop? Pistol. You'd think I would have seen Goof Troop just because of how much I like a goofy movie. You got three out of 11. We're just going to assume you know the main characters better than the obscure ones. Go rewatch some of the Disney television series and try the quiz again. I just don't like some of the ones you mentioned, so it's not gonna happen, but I'll move on to the next quiz. So this quiz is, do you know all the words to this is Halloween? Damn right I do. Boys and girls of every age, this is Halloween, everybody make a scene. Teeth ground sharp and eyes glowing red. Where is the one with fingers like snakes hiding? That is under your... I am the one hiding under your bed. Teeth ground sharp and eyes glowing red. I am the one hiding under your stairs. Oh, everyone hail to the pumpkin song. Round that corner man hiding in the trash can. What are three colors mentioned in the song? Red and black and slimy green. Aren't you scared? Well, that's just fine. Take the chance and roll the dice, ride with the moon in the dead of night. I am the clown with the tearaway face. Life's no fun without a good scare. You got a perfect score. This is Halloween and you know just how to make everyone scream. You are pretty much an honorary member of Halloween Town and you wouldn't have it any other way. Damn right. Let's move on to the next quiz. So this quiz is which Halloween Disney character are you? My favorite part about Halloweens is dressing up, really, but we'll go pumpkins. Pick a color, black. Would you rather eat lunch with nice people or eat nice people for lunch? <laughs> I get that joke. 
or reference, I should say. My go-to Halloween accessory is a bat tie, a black crow, a lot of different potions, a broom. Let's go with bat tie. On the weekends, I like to sew, sing, steal holidays, read spell books. <laughs> I'll say read spell books. My favorite holiday other than Halloween is just Halloween. My favorite Disney sidekick or sidekicks are Flotsam and Jetsam, Diablo, Zero, or Sanderson Sisters. Zero! On October 31st, I will be eating candy, out with friends, passing out pumpkins, looking for ingredients for a potion. Out with friends, we'll be at Disneyland. My favorite potion is Frog's Breath, Worm's Wart, Deadly Nightshade, or Life Potion. Deadly Nightshade. My favorite movie to watch on Halloween is The Nightmare Before Christmas. You're Jack Skellington! Who else, honestly? You strive to be the pumpkin king or queen, already am, but you're willing to explore new things, just like that is. This is a perfect quiz to end on. Thank y'all so much for watching. All of these quizzes will be linked in the description box below. But other than that, I will see you tomorrow. Bye, little skeletons. Stay safe, and I love you guys.